welcome everyone. And thank you for being here because I'm really excited about our topic today. And I'm excited to talk to you about something that I know is near and dear to me. So I think it'll be near and dear to many of you. I believe you have developed in your lifetime through education and your own ability, your gifts and your talents. You've developed these in your life and you might even be in the healing arts as someone who feels called to help others transform their lives. Chances are you could be feeling stuck in your own journey, especially when it comes to turning that gift into a successful business. You might feel frustrated wondering why your business isn't taking off more or why clients just aren't flowing in like you'd hoped. Now, I wanna take a moment to acknowledge something for many of you because many people may not identify with the term healer. You might hear the word and not associate with, what, with it with what you do. You might even feel like a sense of imposter syndrome or think that a true healer is someone who possesses magical, extraordinary gifts, right? Or abilities that might even be considered supernatural. Hmm. It's easy to get caught up in this grandiose idea of what healer is. And if you don't fit into that picture, you might say, well, that's not me. But I am here to tell you that a healer is not someone who possesses supernatural powers. A healer is simply someone who feels called to help others. They might feel called to allevi alleviate other people's suffering. And there's a lot of way that that can happen, a lot of different places where that can fall into that category. Healing comes in many forms. It's not about having a specific title or mastering a mystical art. You might be a healer who practices energy work. Okay. You could be a nutritionist guiding others towards better health. Or you could be a physiotherapist who works with the physical mu muscles of the body. Perhaps you're a coach helping people overcome their limiting beliefs or an artist whose creations inspire and heal through emotion, beauty, or a yoga teacher who guides people to connect with their bodies. Notice the theme. Each person is wanting to help others alleviate, alleviate their suffering in their life. And this could fall into a lot of categories, couldn't it? Healing comes in countless forms. It's about showing up with your abilities, your unique perspective, and your desire to bring light and relief to others. So if you feel called to make a positive impact in the world, support others in their growth and well-being, then you are a healer. Many gifted people, regardless of their modality, struggle to turn their passion into a thriving business. You might know deep down that you have something powerful to offer, yet you find yourself stuck. I've seen this time and time again with the clients I work with or those who have trained in my modality in the soul awakening method. They're doing all the right things. They've honored their craft, built websites even, shared their knowledge on social media and even offered free sessions. But something just isn't clicking and they can't seem to break through to the next level. It just is, no matter what they do. Maybe you're uncomfortable asking for what you truly are worth, or perhaps you've tried to expand your business, but you keep hitting invisible barriers. No matter what you do, it feels like you're stuck in this place. The truth is there's li likely something deeper going on, something hidden that's holding you back from experiencing prosperity you do deserve. And often it has to do with your inherited patterns that emotional DNA that has passed, been passed down from generation to generation. These patterns could be the very blocks preventing you from achieving the abundance and success you dream of. So you might be asking, what exactly do I mean by inherited patterns or emotional DNA? Hmm. Think of them as an emotional blueprint, beliefs, fears, traumas that your ancestors experienced in their life which have been imprinted in your subconscious mind and in your cellular memory. For example, 
If there's history of scarcity or survival in your family, you might find yourself feeling like abundance just isn't possible for you. Even when you're doing the best to take all the right actions, or there might be deep rooted fears around being seen or standing out because generations before someone in your lineage was judged, persecuted or criticized, ostracized even for being different. You may have grown up with the belief that you can't make money doing spiritual work or that healing is a noble pursuit, but not a lucrative one. Hmm. These beliefs may have been passed down through your cultural or familial conditioning influencing how you view your own worth and what you're capable of achieving, even though these beliefs didn't start with you. No, they've been handed down in your operating system, just below that surface, subtly shaping your thoughts, behaviors, and ultimately your success mm -hmm. or not right? These beliefs may have started as inherited, but what happens is they continue to get reinforced over time. Maybe you have a fear around being seen and you push through that fear by posting on social media only to find that nobody is supporting you by liking or hearting your post or worse, you experience some ridicule or criticism. Yeah, this can make the fear of being seen pop right back up in your life kind of like, see, I told you so type of feeling. So you don't want to stand out and you've been unable to move forward on your business ever since. It happens, it's common, but it doesn't need to stay this way. This is just one small example of how inherited fears and actual life experiences can reinforce each other in an ongoing negative cycle. Is it, This cycle is difficult to break out of. And here's where things get even trickier. Many of these inherited beliefs can't be felt, seen, discerned on a conscious level. They're deeply embedded in your subconscious mind and the cellular memory of your body running like a background programming, influencing your decisions, even without you consciously realizing it. That's why you just can't will yourself to think differently. You just can't push harder to move through it. It doesn't work and it doesn't last. You have to access your subconscious mind to reveal what is in the cellular memory of your body to clear these old patterns and beliefs that aren't yours to begin with, by the way. This is one of the things that I teach during my masterclass. We go deep into uncovering how you can find these hidden patterns so you can finally break free from them. But now let's talk about these inherited patterns and how they might be showing up in your business, you might find yourself sabotaging your own efforts. I've been there. Holding back on promoting your services, hesitating to share with the world, or feeling a knot in your stomach when it's time to ask for payment. That is often a sign of an inherited fear around visibility and worth. Or perhaps you're attracting clients, but they aren't your ideal clients. They might constantly tell you that they can't afford your services, which reinforces the scarcity mindset and belief system. It becomes this cycle that's hard to break out of because on the subconscious level, you're attracting people who mirror these inherited beliefs. You might also experience overwhelming self-doubt, feeling like you're not enough or that you don't deserve abundance. Mm -hmm. That's tough. If you're working towards it and you don't deserve it, mm, that's a dichotomy, right? Or maybe you're a lifelong procrastinator. You just think this is who you are. No, it's not who you are. These patterns are sneaky because they operate under the surface, shaping every, everything from the kinds of clients you attract to how you price your services and the actions you take or avoid taking in your business. So how do you start to shift these patterns? I want to share a few tips to help you to begin the process of clearing these blocks so you can unlock your full potential. That's what I want for you. I want you to unlock your full potential in your specific area. First, start acknowledging that you, like everyone else, have limiting beliefs.
Take some time to reflect on where you feel blocked in your business. Ask yourself, what beliefs around money, success, visibility did I inherit from my family that might be influencing my current results? Write them down. If inherited isn't something that you're aware of because you didn't have dinner with grandparents and you didn't hear stories, then just ask about what are the familiar patterns I was raised with, okay? Because they didn't come from your parents. They came from before them. Yeah. Write down these things that you notice these patterns. This is the first step to breaking free because awareness is powerful, right? Because when you see the pattern, you can begin to challenge it. Remember, you can't change what you don't know exists. It's impossible. It won't last. Next, affirming, affirming declarations, affirm your worth, affirming your worth is crucial. Affirmations are incredibly effective in reprogramming con conscious mind. Know that an affirmation will help you integrate that truth into your system. So remind yourself every day, I am worthy of abundance and I am capable of thriving in my profession. I am worthy of abundance and I am capable of thriving in my profession. Affirmations help override those old inherited beliefs with new empowering truths. Lastly, surround yourself, surround yourself with a supportive community. Because when you're the Lone Ranger and you have to defend yourself in what you believe you want to do in your career, it gets really hard. It really does. It gets tiring. It's exhausting. You don't have to find a community, find like-minded people. Those people in the healing arts, those people who are committed to their growth, being around others on a similar journey can be uplifting and really transformational. You'll find strength in knowing you're not alone. It will make it easier to break free from old beliefs. Now, let's talk about the impact that clearing inherited patterns can have on your business. When you start releasing these blocks, you'll find that you naturally begin to attract clients who are aligned with your energy and who see the true value in what you offer. They're willing to invest in themselves and pay for the life-changing healing that you provide. You'll feel more confident in your pricing because you'll understand that your services are not just offerings, they're transformational experiences that are worth every penny. You'll stop sabotaging your efforts and start taking bold action. These actions propel your business forward. They propel life to expand in all areas of your life. No more hesitation. No more playing small. Yeah. I've seen professionals, healers, completely transform their lives by doing this work. They go from feeling stuck at a certain level. They go from feeling frustrated to being fully booked, thriving, and deeply connected to their purpose. Clearing these blocks not only helps you grow your business, it also allows you to serve at a much higher level. You'll no longer be operating from a place of fear or lack, but from abundance and confidence. That's when the real magic happens. Now that we've talked about inherited patterns, and how they can block your success. I wanna share something that can help you break free from these limitations and step into your full potential. Lean into it, walk into your full potential, especially when it comes to money and abundance. I've created a powerful money series specifically designed to help you clear inherited money blocks that are keeping you stuck in patterns of scarcity and struggle. This isn't just another mindset course. This is about addressing these deep rooted patterns, subconscious programming, not just lives in your subconscious, but it is very much alive in your body. Yeah. And these are blocks that are going to prevent you from experiencing prosperity uh, that you, I believe you deserve the prosperity and the abundance. Many of my clients have experienced transformational results going after going through this series, breaking through ceiling income barriers, attracting more aligned clients, and finally feeling confident in charging their worth. 
if you've been feeling like something's holding you back. This series is going to give you the tools to clear those blocks and start creating lasting change in your financial reality. Now, because I know how important this work is, I want to make it accessible to as many people as possible. The regular price of the Money Abundance series is $297. Mm -hmm. I sell, that's what I sell it for on my website. But for a limited time, I'm offering it for $147. This is three hours of releasing inherited patterns. You just put it in your ears, okay? You multitask while you're on the computer. You walk the dog with it or go for a hike. It doesn't take your time. And it's an incredible opportunity to invest yourself, invest in yourself and your business and your future, your future success. You can find more details on my website. I'll put it in when I'm done here. It's regularly 297. It's now 147. That's 50 off, 50% 50 off until October 20th. Mm -hmm. You notice that I don't super discount my content. I don't super discount anything. Why? Because there's value in it. Why? Because I'm booked through February with private clients. My work speaks for itself. The method speaks for itself. Allow me to help you in a way that's doable for you. I know that when you commit to clearing these inherited patterns, you'll not only start to see shifts in your life, in your finances, you'll see them in other areas of your life in how you feel about yourself and your business. When you release those old fears, those limiting beliefs, and naturally step into a place of flow, confidence, and abundance, life changes. This is your chance to finally break free of those inherited blocks and step into the success you truly are capable because I know there's more available for you. I know you have what it takes. And if you're ready to stop playing small and unlock your full potential, I encourage you to take action.